The CPL World Class Talent Award recognises outstanding global leaders who have made meaningful contributions to our economy and society and have changed people's lives. Professor Laura Vianney founded Ireland's first cochlear implant clinic in Dublin in 1994 and completed the country's first cochlear implant surgery in March 1995. Over the past 25 years, Professor Vianney's knowledge and skills have put Ireland's cochlear implant programme on par with the UK and other major international countries. The inaugural winner of the CPL World Class Talent Award is Professor Laura Vianney, whose work culminated this year with the launch of the National Hearing Implant and Research Centre. Her work continues to change lives every day. To Dr. Vianney, I would say that she was just exceptional. I know the uh, trials and tribulations that she went through in order to set up this programme in uh, Ireland, in Beaumont. And uh, she, she is a very special person to me. Uh, she has just changed my life completely. When I was five years old, I was diagnosed as being profoundly deaf. And then when I was 16 years old, uh, the cochlear implant department in Beaumont and Nora Vianney decided that I was able to go for the operation. My story began in a, a bicycle race in China. Um, I was a professional bike rider at the time and I suffered a fairly bad crash to the point where one morning I just woke up deaf. Uh, thankfully, I was uh, rushed on to the cochlear implant program um, and uh, after a little bit of to and fro and some nervousness on my side I, uh, I agreed to go with the, with the implant and it was absolutely the best decision I've ever made in my life. About five years ago, six years ago, my hearing disappeared completely and that happened after two long haul flights to Tanzania. This is Kate, this is Sarah. Um, Kate and Sarah are identical twins with a triplet brother and they were born at 32 weeks and when they, just before they came home from hospital they failed their newborn screening test and uh, two weeks later they were tested and we found out they were profoundly deaf. I'm Professor Laura Vianney, Director of the National Hearing Implant and Research Centre here at, based at Bowman Hospital and RCSI. So over the years I've built up a um, standalone department, a surgical department and a department with a multidisciplinary team consisting of scientists, speech and language therapists, teachers of the deaf, admin staff, psychologists and researchers. By the time they were three, um, they were off to play school and they were the same as John, they were the same as many, a lot of kids in the school. Um, by the time they were four, people used to ask us, are they still deaf? I think at this stage myself, I forget they're deaf. Dr. Bialy was um, Probably because of her and her team, um, it made me a little bit more relaxed about going forward for this whole process. Knowing that Laura was around and she's quite, yeah, always around and always about to play stuff and it makes you feel like she is because she's a very approachable person and you can tell that she genuinely, she cares about everyone and she cares about all her patients. I had this with John about a week after the surgery and it was a it was a very emotional it was a very emotional moment and that point when I realized when I could hear um, when I could hear the machine and I realized that um, I was part of the hearing world again. I would have been very happy just to hear sound again because I haven't heard sound. I can't believe that I'm hearing what I'm saying, I'm hearing what you're saying, I'm hearing what Brian is saying. I can't believe it. Are you hearing a lot? more sounds. I can hear every word you are saying. <laughs> can you? It's not just the surgery I'm involved in, you're involved in how the kids do in a lifelong journey because the kids are, they come back to you all the time. They have to attend you at least once a year after a few years so you see them forever. So um, um, I think the inspiration was seeing how well the kids were doing. I suppose one of the biggest moments was recently when we opened up the new department here and um, the facility was opened and we had, well, luckily we had our Tisha Khan, Mr. Leo Baraka turned up to it, which was, which was a great moment for us. 
and I, um, we did a presentation in the main hall here and a lot of the patients attended, we invited many of the patients who contributed and I, what, was, what was really lovely, at the end of my presentation all the kids came around me and I thought that was lovely, it was very nice, that was a very proud moment that I actually realised we'd actually managed to get this team together and I'd managed to produce a facility like this and, that was, that was, and, and also to see all the kids and the parents happy was great.